So what's up traders? Um, I had no trade today, but I do want to recap um, my thoughts from yesterday. If you watched my video from yesterday, you're going to know exactly why I'm making this video today. So let's get into the trade. So the ticker, S-I-N-T, I recapped this video yesterday. I simply said, if the threes become resistance, which they did, the stock should close weak at the lows. That was a huge point. So let's break the stock down. Right here, right out the get-go. So, right here, first one-minute candle out of the gates. Stock shoots up to 309. First one-minute candle. Pulls back. The first reaction, it's under $3. So it comes back retest that three and gets crushed just like I said yesterday this this is why I'm recapping this I had a position yesterday that I was short on and I did not want to hold it overnight because of the cost to hold it overnight is not worth the risk but this is a great lesson to anybody that's looking to short stocks this is the first red day and this is predictable I literally said this in the video yesterday but you have to wait for the confirmation. You can't just assume that today's going to be the first red day. So, go back to this. First one minute candle gets crushed. Retest. Threes hold as, as resistance. What happens to the stock? It goes down to support. Where's your support at? Right here. 260. Look at this. Big doji right here. Why am I pointing this out? Doji's form at resistance and support. This is a strong support area. So your price channel is from 260 to 3 to 310 at the highest. So when the stock re-pushes back up, right here, what does it get to a high of? 289. So we'll draw a line, 289. Look at these lows, 289. What happens after that? Well, so right here, comes back down, forms higher support. Right now it's bullish. Right here, here's your key level, 260 to 290s. That's your, that's your price channel. So right here, pushes up. Right here, breaks out of 290. It breaks out, wait for the first, first pullback. What happens? Look at this. Doji, right there, Doji at resistance, stock comes back, where does it go back to? It goes back to support, can't break out, it goes back to support, so move over a little bit, right here, stock comes back down, scroll up, comes back up here, retest again, 290s, guess what, resistance, stock gets crushed, where does it go to? Back to support, 260. So in this video, what I'm telling you is that I literally told you this trade yesterday. So if you were short around the $3 where that's your key point to short it, and you cover in the 260, that's 40 cents. 40 cents profit. That's that's huge on a penny stock. You know, that's pretty good. And if you hold for the closing price, which I normally trade for, it closed at around 260. So my point of this whole uh, video is that for anybody that's new that's trying to learn how to day trade penny stocks, you know, short or long, you know, um, this content will help you a lot. And if you watch my video from yesterday, you're going to see me talk about the $3. That, that was huge. So, yeah, I just want to make this video on a recap. I didn't trade it today. Um, I'm still under PTD. I don't have the trades, but I simply wanted to recap this trade because this trade is very predictable, but you have to wait. You can't just assume it's going to be the first red day. But me talking about this on my video from yesterday, I mean, it just proves if you study and you watch how stocks um, play out, this is a highly predictable move. But you have to wait for confirmations. You can't just short it to short it. So, um... Yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you liked the content. Um, and if I see something tomorrow 
you know, I'll put something out. I probably won't be able to get to trade. I'm still, like I say, under the PTD rule, but it doesn't mean that I can't learn. You know, just because you're under the PTD rule, it's one of the, you know, best things for you. You don't need to trade every day. The PTD rule actually helps you because when you do trade, it restricts you from taking garbage trades. You only want to take the best trades when you trade. So regardless which where you get in, where you get out, when you take that trade, you're expecting something to happen. If it happens, awesome. But if it doesn't happen, you just cut cut your loss and you move on. You know, it's all about risk management. Like yesterday, I lost eighty dollars. Why is that? Because it's risk management. So all I'm getting at is, you know, to, I haven't really looked at the stocks today, but this was my this was my play for today. This is a highly predictable trade, and. If I can do it, anybody can do it. You just have to study. But thanks for watching. Hope you leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you think. You know, tell me what you traded today. Love to know. Peace.